basketball you i'm back with more information to give you just about you the basketball player and how to become better in all aspects of basketball on and today is going to be off the court so i hope you're ready i hope you understand what's about to happen here and the information i'm about to give you but before i give you this information it's going to be about liking and commenting in the comments to ask me any questions that you have about this episode or previous episodes and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and then share it with anybody who wants the information or ask you questions and you don't know the answer to just send them right here to basketball you all right so today i just want to talk about your personal brand and your marketing how are you going to gain popularity to market yourself well i'm going to give you a few steps to do that and then i'm just going to give you a brief like rundown of what to do so i'm not giving you this strategy right to do it but i'm giving you that foundation to get started and that's the most important thing is getting started in anything that we do so first thing is going to be create a social media presence and you know you have the three major platforms and you want to make sure with those three major platforms that you're on there you're engaging with the people that are responding back to your content mainly that and also consistency as long as you're doing that regardless of the content you will find a little bit of feedback okay so that's a good start okay and then attending anything that is going to uplift your brand with competing with the best or the elite right whether it's in a competition or any type of challenges or even attending camps or any type of clinic where you're going to see a little bit higher level competition or like i said when you go through a challenge you're facing somebody that might be known or that seems they're better than you and then you have accomplished the goal of beating that competitor so doing that taking that footage you can put it into a highlight reel highlight reels are great keeps our people engaged and also sharing photos of anything that you're doing but ultimately remember with all this work that you're doing just be consistent on your posting okay any type of posting that you're doing is going to continuously keep the viewer interested because they see you every single day and if they see you every day there's an interest okay and that's the biggest advice i have for you when it comes to starting to build that foundation and that brand and there's nothing more important than having an engaging crowd that wants to see you succeed because now you're getting the support from an outside source that's going to keep you driven to make it and when i say make it now i'm looking into the world of possibilities as a professional now when i say professional i'm not talking about professional athlete now there are different phases of what really you can be as a pro so for instance there are opportunities at a young age where you can go to a place called overtime if your brand is big enough and you're a good enough basketball player overtime is willing to take you in as one a recruitable basketball player two as a branded or i should say self-branded basketball player which also will give you the opportunity to market yourself because that platform is huge with the young crowd and that is something where i was talking about the consistency and they're seen every day as well as being coached by some very experienced and elite coaches as well as being media trained and it's just a wealth of things that can happen in overtime but it also sets you up to be a pro overseas it can still allow you to pay college they'll pay for college and there's just a long list of things that can happen in overtime so that's roughly around i believe 14 and 17 years old or 14 and 16 and there might even be accepting younger if you're good enough like aluka was back in the day when he was playing overseas but something else you can look into as well is just creating yourself as a pro 
professional basketball skills person. So now you can just be a pro at being good at teaching the skills on screen. So not necessarily a basketball trainer, just showing that I'm very good at this skill that I have. So in basketball, you could be an amazing dribbler, taking your talents to different places, whether it's an outdoor court, gym, fitness center, an open gym, just somewhere random with a good background. Again, playing competition that's older than you or whatever it comes your way as far as competition and you just competing at a high level and having clips. So now let's say you are a good dribbler or you are a good shooter and now you're just showing people why you are. Okay, so you can be a pro in just a specific range of skills in basketball. And then you have the route of street ball. Street ball is something that has been a pastime forever and many people really get excited about it when the weather is good. But all over the East Coast, I know for sure, street ball is heavy. So if you can go to that competition and get in the top street ball leagues early and make a name for yourself, that also will be good promotion for you if you are continuously trying to promote your brand in a way to where you're getting every type of basketball audience then when looking at other avenues of basketball when we're not talking about the traditional route you could be a skills trainer right a lot of people are skills trainers now majority of them did play basketball whether they were good or not it's the science of what they're teaching now and everybody has their own way of teaching it regardless of if it's a copycat drill because basketball is the same so you're not going to get a crazy dynamic of different skills you'll just get it being taught differently if that makes sense and then you have your traditional route playing high school basketball and hopefully you play at a good high school i mean ideally you would want to set yourself up at a good high school with a good fan base so that when your footage is being shown or you make a shot there's always a crazy atmosphere and that always kind of boosts your likes as well as your following. And those people that are fans of you also share your content. This also will allow you to be in a, a setting of support. And now you are possibly putting yourself in a situation where you can be recruited. And then when you go to college, you know, there's that fan same fan base that you had in high school so looking at all these avenues to be a professional why is it important to market myself why are we having this episode why are we even talking about this well the biggest thing is you can make a lot of money now and so you don't have to be recruited you don't need an agent you don't have to really do anything that the rules have set over time there's no rules anymore so if you understand or you have a unique way of bringing your characteristic across the screen you will be able to be a professional and make money in the game that you love so much and that is why i love the opportunity now because so many people love this game and a lot of people stopped playing because of how they felt they got done in the past in the game. And so the game was a love for them and then it became a hate. But now with the opportunity to make money, you're able to love this game and the game is able to love you back by rewarding you with your work ethic. Right. And some people will tell you stories about how hard they worked and they just didn't get the opportunity. Well, now all you have to do is pick up that phone or pick up that camera and you get all the opportunity in the world to prove yourself. So I hope this information was valuable to you. That's all I'm trying to provide on this channel is value. And remember, someone's always working. Are you?